My father, I lost him a year. I was supposed to go for his one year remembrance. Joy Moore hasn't been home to Nigeria in years. In December, she planned to take her daughter home so they could pay respects to her late father. She booked two round trip tickets from JFK Airport. And six days before the trip, they took free COVID tests. Both were negative. But when they arrived at the airport, the airline wouldn't accept the results. Joy says she didn't notice the testing rules on the airline's website. It didn't occur to me that it has to be three days with the time the test was taken, the specimen. But I, I didn't see that quite. Since the airline wouldn't accept the dated tests, Joy and her daughter went to this testing site at the airport run by Adams Health Services. She was blown away by the cost, $798 for two COVID tests. I was like, wow. That's really, really, that's so expensive. Faced with the decision to either pay for the test or skip the trip, Joy decided to foot the bill. Later, she wrote to NBC10 Responds, and we started looking into the costs. We believe that we're doing a really good service for the public nowadays. Janina Ranya is with Adams Health Services. She tells us the company offers two types of tests at JFK. Joy received a PCR test because it was what her airline required. The testing company also offers a less expensive antigen test, which is not accepted by all airlines. We always tell the clients, our customers, to keep in touch with the airline. Whatever they, whatever you need, maybe the, you need antigen, maybe you need the RT-PCR. The CARES Act does not limit how much someone can charge for a COVID test. Aranya tells us it's more expensive to process the PCR tests and that cost gets passed along to the consumer. RT-PCR is the most accurate one. Besides the cost, there are key differences to understand about the two types of COVID tests. All tests are not created equal. There are definitely ones better than the others. Infectious disease expert Dr. Seth Rosenbaum says the PCR tests are the gold standard. It has a upwards of 98% sensitivity, meaning that there's a 2% possibility of you having a false negative. More often than not, it will give you the correct diagnosis, whereas the antigen test has an upwards of a 20% false negative rate, meaning even if you test negative, I still have a 20% probability or percentage of you having the test, I mean, correction, you having the infection. As for Joy, the PCR tests for her and her daughter came back negative. But in the time it took to get tested and make it back to the check-in counter, they missed their flight and had to cancel the trip. That one year, remembrance family get together and I, want, I wanted to be there so badly. Now, if you're traveling, it's key you understand the airline's testing requirements and set aside enough time if you choose to get tested at the airport.